Today I fucked up by telling a customer to say please. Alrighty so I'm a barista and a shift lead and I'm also 20F. So I have to put up with the rudest most uncomfortable customer interactions on a daily. Today was no exception. Right after our peak during which I was alone on bar making drinks for the entirety of. An older man walks up and barks out his order for a decaf latte. No hello, please, or thank you just give me a decaf latte. He pays I go to make the drink and as I'm doing it he walks around to the other side of the counter and straight up yells make sure it's decaf got it. Without missing a beat and without even thinking about it I yelled back make sure it's decaf please. I swear I saw steam come out of dude's ears. OFC he asked to speak to the manager and TA da imaging how much angrier he became upon on hearing that I was running shift aka the highest up person in the shop he could talk to. He proceeded to berate me for not knowing my place and not respecting my elders. I let him get it out of his system and simply replied I'm sorry if I inadvertently offended you. My parents raised me to have manners which include saying please and thank you rather than shouting my demands. Have a nice day. I'm probably gonna clock into a colorful customer review tomorrow but it is what it is. Not my fault the old geezer never learned the basics of being polite. Too long didn't read, an old man was being a demanding customer and I implied he had no basic manners. Edit slash update. Jeez Louise some of y'all feel very strongly about this Lamau I appreciate all of the like-minded individuals. It really just more so a reflex than a deliberate response. I babysit a lot. But the positivity is wonderful regardless lol. So far nothing negative has come of that splendid lil interaction, my GM didn't say anything to me so I'm not finna say anything about it to him and call it in the clear lol. Thank you for the laughs reading the comments. Respect elders that show respect, not just because they've been lucky enough not to die young. You did not fuck up, fuck that guy. I used to work with a guy that said that kinda stuff to rude customers all the time. All he gave zero fucks if a person was offended or not as long as his comments were warranted. Best part was he said it with a killer smile and in the most deadly sweet tone of voice lol any customer would have been foolish to try to argue back. Even if they did, he turned to walk away while saying something to the effect of well I've got some very patient and nice people waiting on me so let me know when you're ready to be helped. Not once in the years we worked together did he ever receive a customer complaint. My mom worked as a cashier at a drugstore. She didn't acknowledge people who barked orders like Marlboros, Newports, or she would play dumb about what they wanted. Sure you might get a complaint, but you aren't wrong. Also, respect for elders? Lol his age had nothing to do with it. That's what I'm saying. I don't have the mom energy to pull off that power move yet but I fucks with your mom's vibe lol. Today I fucked up by not checking my wash rag before showering. Today I fucked up. Snafu if you will. When I shower, I have a routine, and my routine has always been to scrub with a wash rag instead of a loofah because germs I guess. I keep my wash rags underneath my bathroom sink in a basket and they're all folded nicely into fourths sometimes. Other times they're just chucked in there all willy nilly. This morning, I grab a nicely folded rag. Put it on the shower ledge and step inside. I do my routine, shampoo, conditioner, then shave and then the scrubby scrubby. Everything goes normally until the scrubby scrubby part. I dump my Dollar General soap onto my wash rag and then lather up, starting at my arms and then up to my neck. It was then it hit me. Instead of my nice smelly scrubby scrubby I get hit with it. The stench. The awful stench that it stink bugs. I open my rag to find three of those crunchy little fuckers. All squished and nasty. I screamed so loud my husband, our three dogs, and cat all came to investigate. I was gagging, crying, and cursing all while trying to waffle stomp these smelly fucks down the drain. My husband immediately breaks down laughing and takes the basket of rags outside to shake them all out. Dogs sneak a drink from the shower, and the cat is judging. As cats are wont to do, no matter how hard I scrubbed, the stench wouldn't come off. I tried dove soap. Motel soap, axe soap, and finally covered it up with my husband's scent killer hunting soap and defense soap with tea tree oil. I can still smell them. The trees are talking now. Too long didn't read, thought I was hot shit, got knocked down by three smelly boys in the shower. 
As with most of life's problems, vinegar is your solution here. Baking soda will also help. Work a baking soda paste into the smelly areas and let it sit for a minute or so, but vinegar, as usual, is the real champ. We get swarms of the little bastards around here. Biblical plagues, hundreds of thousands, by my estimation, in just my yard alone at times. Try lathering up with baking soda and water paste mixture and then splash vinegar all over yourself. Not sure if this will do anything for the smell but it would be interesting to see if you look like a third graders volcano project. Blow your nose, clean them nostrils. You have that stench in there too. Might be what you're smelling. I hate those things. My wife has a ridiculous phobia of them since they've been getting in the house. Fuck I feel for you. I had a summer job at a university and the place was crawling with roaches. I keep my washcloths in the shower. Yep, there was a huge one in my washcloth, didn't see it till I pulled it off the hook and it brushed me on the way down. I booked it half naked into the room where my friend, now boyfriend, was and made him get his docks and stomp it, smiley face. He still decided to date me 6 months later so I guess it wasn't all bad. He still decided to date me 6 months later so I guess it wasn't all bad. Of course he did. You initiated the mating ritual yourself, having him kill the bug. I almost had to marry my own sister because of a spider infestation she had. Upvoted especially because I like the word waffle stomp. Welp. I have a new fear. Yeah the marriage to my sister is a living nightmare. Today I fucked up by turning my vibrator on, on my dad. Yup. This happened about an hour ago. So I have a couch that had a couple of recliner seats, which my dad has claimed as his own whenever he comes over. Which is totally fine, but it is also where I sit on my couch so he's taking my seat but I certainly don't mind. Well there we were all eating some food on my couch when it suddenly occurs to me that my dad is sitting right next to my vibrator. It's in this little crack in the couch right next to the lever to activate the recliner. I'm minorly panicking that he's already seen it but I'm pretty positive he hasn't. So I go over to his side of the couch and decide, leap of faith moment that I was just going to stick my hand in that couch crack, Palm the vibrator up my sleeve and toss it in my bedroom with no one being the wiser. I would just say I was looking for a lighter or something. So I stuck my hand in the couch and hit the on button my accident and the whole side of the couch starts vibrating and it is crazy loud. Both of my parents just look up at me. I quickly held the button to turn it the fuck off but the damage had been done. My mom definitely knew what was going on my dad on the other hand got excited about how cool my couch is and enthusiastically asked me why wow, things thing has a massage function too? I just said yup and walked away. Didn't pull out the vibrator I had way too much attention on me now. So after we are done eating my dad starts shoving his hand down the couch crack and was asking how to turn on the vibrations. I told him I don't use that, because it will stay smelling like it's burning. It's an older couch I got it used and the vibration is just loud and I think kinda dangerous since it smells like it's melting the couch or something. Of of course my dad wants to go in handyman mode and was saying I'll take a look at it. Maybe I can fix it. And my mom cut it leave it alone. She said she doesn't want to use it. I told him it's just so loud I would never actually use it anyways it's just annoying and sometimes I accidentally hit the button and that's it. Thankfully he did end up letting it go. But I had done major panic happening for a while, and my mom definitely knew what was up. I am so embarrassed guys. TLDR, my vibrator was in my couch by the seat my dad was on. I tried to move discreetly it but instead turned it on. It, wow okay this really blew up. A lot of people seem to be concerned why I would keep my vibrator in the living room. Also for y'all that keep calling it a dildo, it's not. It's a vibrator, it was in my living room because I was charging my phone in my bedroom and the other socket had my lamp plugged into it. I was going to bed so I needed my phone with me for the alarm. Also I don't live with my parents or anyone else for that matter. And quarantine has got me a little loose on general life rules. If that makes sense. Oh I didn't really care if it was plugged into the living room outlet. On a clean table and my vibrator was cleaned with specific sex toy cleaner and sanitizer so it was fine. 
fine. I even put a tissue down on the table cause even that is still a tad nasty. It was also wrapped up in that tissue in the couch I just shoved it in there because a friend had stopped by to grab something and I shoved it in there to avoid embarrassment then, only to receive embarrassment now. Don't worry y'all. Like it's still pretty gross but I don't think it's as gross as a lot of you guys were painting it. I'm guessing that at some point, days, weeks, or even years, dad's gonna have a light bulb moment on this one. Unfortunate for you, but I'd really like to see the five stages of grief on his face as they rapidly unfold. Mom kicks ass. Your mom sounds like an amazing woman. Lamau her quick saves that only a wife slash mother can do. Your mom's a G and your dad never knew, you should feel great. Your mom on the car ride home, it was a vibrator on your dad, thoughtful face, speechless face, astonished face, scared face, mind blown. Trust me, no dad wants to find his daughter's vibrator, let alone turn it on. You ducked a bullet, and your mom is cool. Carry on. <laughs>